I knew that the first production I wanted to do, first full production I wanted to do at Wichita State would be Le Nozze di Figaro. Primarily because it was my first opera that I was ever in as well, 40 years ago. When preparing the opera, we spend weeks and weeks and weeks on the music alone. I don't allow them to start doing any stagecraft, any of that kind of thing, until the opera is memorized. And then we polish them and rehearse them and they interact, they learn the language because we're doing it in Italian. This is an extremely difficult opera because there's a thing called recitative, which isn't singing arias, which isn't in singing duets. It's more like spoken dialogue on sung pitches. And this is very challenging for singers, especially when it's not their native language. And they've taken that on and they've done a great job. It's, it's extremely successful what they're doing. It's, it's really quite a production. Well, put here. No, this, is, this is one of our finer young men. This is Carabino. Uh, it's, a, it's a pants role, as we call it, a trousers role, where typical to the period, a young woman would play the role of a young boy. And this is one of our youngest women playing one of our youngest boys. <laughs> as well as teaching and directing, I'm still performing. Uh, I am currently doing performances, rehearsals in Cleveland with the Cleveland Orchestra. I consider them the best orchestra in the world. And then I regularly am performing at the Vienna State Opera, the Washington National Opera at the Kennedy Center in Washington. The Cleveland Orchestra, of course, we do performances in Cleveland, but we also went out on tour this year and went to Vienna. We went to Luxembourg, um, and we've been specializing in this opera of, of Janacek called The Cunning Little Vixen. However, the pro performances I have coming up are in Wagner's masterpiece, Tristan and Isolde. And in the middle of doing that, here we're doing our production of Figaro here at Wichita State. So I'll commu be commuting back and forth between Wichita and Cleveland. It's a huge challenge to balance singing and teaching and directing and keeping a balance. As an opera singer, you still have to prepare and preserve and uh, keep your voice in as good a shape as you possibly can. And you have to be conscious of that while you're teaching. If you're speaking all day, if you're directing all day, you still have to leave something in the tank so that you can sing yourself uh, when the, you know, the people call and they say, hey, we need you to sing. So um, I have to pace myself, uh, I have to get plenty of rest, make sure I stay healthy, and I'm trying to pass that on to my students as well. My number one goal for the opera program was to have the students performing as much as they possibly could. At many universities, graduate students take all the roles. The undergraduates don't get the opportunity, and then it comes time where they want to go to graduate school, and they don't have the opportunities in their, in, on the resume or, or the experience to do as well on stage. I am a very big believer in Wagner's concept of Gesamtkunstwerk. This is the entire realm of art coming together. The acting, the singing, the languages, the music, everything, orchestra, lighting, you know, costumes, everything has to come together to make the quality production. And then between acts three and four, again, it's a verbal cue from me, no lighting cue. And so only through performing, only through actually being on the stage will they get that experience. And I think we've provided that this year. We had a concert performance of L'Elysir d'Amore in the fall, which allowed them to concentrate primarily on the music with some acting. And now we're doing our full production of uh, La Nozze di Figaro, where we have singers of all ages, freshmen through graduate students, all performing. It's called The Marriage of Figaro because Figaro's getting married on that day. Uh, he's getting married to Susanna, uh, who's a, probably one of the most important characters in the whole show. Essentially, the Count is wanting to seduce my wife on the night of my marriage. And I'm not really having that, and so I'm trying to get him to not do that, the whole, the whole opera. Mozart is, is just a pleasure to sing. The direction that we've gotten through Alan's directing and uh, the maestro Laycock is great. The orchestra is doing a fantastic job as you know, student performers. We're growing a lot as a company, and I expect the show to be fantastic when we open it. We've had so much time. We've been working on it since early February, um, and we've had rehearsals like Monday through Friday every week. Um, we feel very prepared. It's a long opera, so it took a long time to prepare, but Alan's doing a great job getting this opera you know, program up and running and getting this opera on its feet, and uh, I feel like it's going to be a great show, and people are going to really enjoy it. Some people think that opera is like a dead art. It's really not. People just don't know a lot about it. They don't know where it's accessible to them. And we have it right here. We have it at Wichita State. We have it in other places in Wichita. Um, and it's like something different that you don't really think about as enjoyable. Um, like, you know, you've got sports, you've got musicals, but like an opera is like a different form of art. Um, and it's also historical. And I think that a lot of people will enjoy that aspect of it. Um, it's just a different way of telling a story. 
We have a great group of fine young singing actors. I had someone say to me last week, one of the technical people came in and said he's never seen an opera so well prepared. And they are really solid right now.